testing, testing, one, two, test, test, one ning. Bing 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 Welcome to another uh, episode of us just getting stuff ready for the uh, upcoming season, whenever that starts. Uh, so today we're just gonna be working on the modified. I've got my cousin Chris he's here to help out. Uh, we're just pulling the diff out, uh, we're just going to service it, put some new bearings and whatnot in it. Uh, then also we're just going to also chop the chassis up a little bit, uh, but that'll come later on. So today we're just going to pull the diff out, then we're going to head down south and grab a few parts. So yeah, come along for the ride. So uh, I'm bolted here. It is the biggest pain in the ass to pull this thing out. We're gonna try and get it out now. There's not much room. It's also got a high battery in there, which uh, I've never pulled the diff out with that in. So we're gonna try and pull it out without pulling the battery out because that's also gonna be a big pain in the ass. Um, Chris has just undone the uh, final bolt there. We'll pull her out. Like, I feel like you're gonna break my arm <laughs> This is what you've been going to gym for. There we go. Oh, you got it? Uh, let this jack. Oh, so we can roll out. Oh, yeah. Dude, you've got most of it. I don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you grab the like in the heaviest spot there is. So can we just Just pulled it out, that was a pain in the ass. I chipped so much paint off the chassis, so I'll have to fix all that up. Uh, right now we're just heading down to uh, Mr. Bazzuti's house and we're gonna grab a few things there. And then also went to Ray Egan's place uh, and picked up these axle tubes, these ones. Uh, Ray's actually been a bit crook lately, so I was sort of bagging out his car. <laughs> I hope you do get better. You're a bloody champion, mate. So what I'm actually doing is um, these bird cages. I'm making them wider because as you can tell in this, <clears throat> I'm actually binding as soon as the car articulates a bit. Hit the um, torsion bar arm hits that. So there's new ones out now, they're three inch wide. So these have already got a heap of holes in them here and here and yeah, down in here. And they sort of, I don't really want to put any more holes in them. So I've got these axle tubes, we'll punch them in um, then we'll set timing on our bird cages that with the three inches apart now for the roller. And um, then I've got something else sneaky happening soon too. So yeah, here's me pulling it apart. <laughs> looking too good I don't know why because I mean we built it like a season ago maybe a season and a half ago of all new gears and bearings and stuff but um, if you have a look just here no yeah, she's not looking too too good along here yeah, I don't know I don't know what's going on uh, the crown wheel looks fine so um, I guess you got to match them though so I know I'll see it. I'll see how much these things are I'll buy a new one of them and I'll see how much crown wheels so, so that we can just get it matched as well so yeah, um, now, gonna pull the um, bells off. Get out of there, you bastard. It's not that easy, man. Some of you got 50 down on them, Oh, what's it? Oh, it's not even. Push in the needle. Hey, I got it. Can you show me the fucking 
both said that one. Yeah. Well, not so much, right? to grab the gearbox on the way I um, dropped in and got a present. One's gonna go on my wall, one's gonna go on the shed here. Big poster. It doesn't do it justice on the videos, it looks unreal in real life. Anyway, I'll grab this uh, gearbox. Righto, it's the next day after picking up the uh, gearbox from Warren's. I pulled the other one out. Um, this morning I went and watched the uh, Speedway motorbikes, which is the first time I've ever done that. And I'll tell you what, if anyone's got a bike out there for me to ride, I'm pretty keen to give it a go. It looks pretty damn fun. So, I'm just changing the bell house housing over now because I don't know what this bell housing is. I think it's a Chev one, but I don't know, some weird one. I know the one in mine's sweet, so. Um, yeah, I put that onto this gearbox. There's nothing wrong with this gearbox. It's just I've just got this one rebuilt um, So I might as well just have this one in the car and use this one as a spare or sell it uh, So yeah, I'll transfer all the the starter motor and the bell housing over and a few other little things my clutch I like my clutch a bit better than this other one. So I'll transfer that over and um, Be the pain in the ass putting it back in then Gearbox is in, uh, just put the starter motor in now. Good morning. Uh, it's a pretty average day here. Uh, I've got Matt coming over to um, do a bit of welding for me. Now, I was sort of didn't know whether I should let you guys know or not. What, I, what I'm what i gonna do is, uh, this season we're gonna run a J-bar from the left side. Um, I think there's only a handful of people doing it here in Australia so far. There's only two, maybe three people doing it. So I'm pretty excited to get onto it. Brad's a bit nervous. Uh, he's, because when we first got this chassis, we had a bit of problem of getting used to it. And he sort of just doesn't want to throw another, you know, something new to get used to. So Matt will be coming over soon. I'm just going to have a tidy up. Um, I made him coffee, so that should make him happy. And we're going to get stuck into it. That Troy gives you um, is pretty much goes on straight like that. So um, we're just gonna drop this rail out so Matt's gonna do some chops here and it's gonna come in an inch and down an inch. So he's just getting his well, his grinding and uh, covers out and he's gonna have um, that out in a second. Kinda scary chopping up a chassis. Awesome job on this, so happy with it. He's 
over engineers everything but man this is going to be strong as it's not going to go anywhere the jig um, i mean it can't be wrong because it's off the exact same spot in the jig this rail uh i don't know that might be a bit low but i mean we'll see find out so yeah if, if you if anyone wants uh, matt to do any work for him don't ask him because he's probably not going to help you he's that busy doing all my stuff anyway so i'll just give this a lick of paint and um she look factory righto the ring and pinions just rocked up i'll unbox this now uh then hopefully i can start putting this diff together Well, it definitely looks better than the other one, that's for sure. I don't know what that's for. Anyway, yeah, I'll start assembling this diff and um, get it back in the car. Okay, back in the workshop again here today. Um, so a lot's been going on in my personal life. Well, I've actually been had redundant, so I'm currently jobless at the moment. So I had to go out and buy another car because I had a company car and blah, blah, blah. So. Everything's been pretty hectic lately for me, um, so I'm just gonna get stuck back into video again, videoing again now. Uh, first of all, got some news coming. Will be in the next video about this car, uh, which I'll keep you updated on. But for now, uh, I got some new torque arms for the modified because I have gone the left side panard. There's a few things you need to do. So the drop rail needs to be a lot lower and uh, towards the center of the diff a lot more. So as you've seen, uh, we did that. Also, the torque arms need to have a lot more clearance on them. That's on the ground right now, I'll show you in a second. Also, obviously, the uh, left side penard mounts, and we you need to put the three inch roller in for the uh, bird cage for the torsion bar arm to slide in and out on. It needs to be a lot, lot longer. So, here's the, this is the old, this is the old um, torque arm. Um, so when this actually was full, when the car was full articulation, the bottom of the chassis was actually hitting here. So I actually had to machine this out a little bit. So there wasn't much clearance. Um, so I've got these ones, which if we line it up here roughly, you can tell just by, by that, you can see how much clearance there is actually there. There's way more of these ones. So um, I've got some new tail shaft hoops for it. So we'll just open these up now. These are meant to be the new style ones, so you don't have to pull these off. Um, you have to pull them off when you want to pull your tail, your tail shaft out, which I don't know if that's a pain in the ass. So uh, these got these new ones, so you just undo these two bolts, and that way you can just drop the tail shaft out straight away. And this is the, um, I assume this is the front one, no rear one. And this one here. Yep, same again. So, I'll uh, make up these torque arms and um, get ready to put it in. Uh, also, you're probably wondering, you probably noticed that I've got a uh, Bicknell stuff. When I've got a Troy, I know what people are going to be saying. Yeah, Troy, can't be putting that stuff in, but honestly, it's the same. It's all the same. Uh, it's just, Troy, uh, Bicknell is probably a better price, so I'm a I don't have a huge budget, so um, Bicknell's a better price, and to us they're probably more far, a lot more advanced than what Troy is, so I'll just get stuff through Bicknell because it's just easier and cheaper that way as well. So yeah, I'll whack these together and we'll um, get them in.
Righto, I've done as much as I could with this. Um, I'm still waiting for the birdcage rollers to rock up and um, new bearings and seals for the hub so I can put them back together. Plus a few other little things I've got to do here and there. Then we'll um, start working on a few other things, getting it ready for the upcoming season. Um, so this will do for this video. Uh, right now I'm just about to head out to Brad's place, put the head back on the midget, and then we're hopefully going to be able to put the midget engine back into the midget. So that's getting exciting. Then it will obviously just go on the dyno and get ready because our first event is the Queensland title at Archfield Speedway. Um, after that video, I will be posting a video of the Tirana. I'm about to pull the engine out of it and um, paint the engine bank, put the new motor in, which is pretty exciting. Also, the former 500 is over there in the corner. Uh, I do have some exciting news coming up on that, um, so stay tuned for that. For now, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry if this is a little bit, little bit boring. Please subscribe, it'll help me out big time. Like, comment, uh, write me a message, and I'll see you in the next one.